<laughs> how it do how it be how it is everybody welcome in and welcome back we are getting to the last three ish episodes of the season things are ramping up and all of it is coming to a head and i'm so very excited to see how it goes uh thank you all for being here um couple of announcements to get right out of the way there's a bingo there's a fan made like viewer viewer ran bingo uh that, that that a lot of the people within the community take super seriously and if you would like to get in on that you can head over to the discord and go to the terraform channel make sure you hit the accept the rules on the way in or else you don't get access um and you will find a fantastic community with not only uh chaotic energy but wholesome energy um and if you want to get caught up we are cranking out episodes i think we're supposed to be scheduled for three episodes a day on the youtube <laughs> we are steamrolling catching up on all of the uploads and you can find all of that over on the youtube make sure you uh make sure you hit the follow it goes a long way towards us getting uh ads set up over there um and that will go towards you know the long shot flourishing continuing and all that good stuff um if you didn't know there is a website called start playing where I will be running a one shot on Friday. It is one of my favorite one shots. I've been hired to run it a few times at a couple of different events called the Rat King's Keep. And what's cool about this website is you can buy a seat. This is a new thing I'll be doing to because I need to work a little bit more towards making ends meet in a various other things. If you want to support me as a creator, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, it's a huge way to uh, to help me and you get to come play at the table at the long shot table which would be awesome rat king's keep is a level nine one shot it's going to be wicked um and you can find more information about that on the start playing website just look up sir pfeffers and look up uh the rat king's keep any of that good stuff and you will find it you can also find the link on the discord last we left off Thranagar has been saved. Ben's Thylo's father. And he's got this crackhead plan. And it involves a lot of things all kind of happening at the same time. Uh, Levy right now will be training on how to terraform with her, her father, Mirsky. Um, Eshna is on the moon, if you didn't know, the 12 sided moon, to ensure that when Levy terraforms, the moon stays fixated in place like it is supposed to be. Theranagar's plan is multifold. Levy will terraform the, the gate to hell out from this ruin within the swamp. Anarian needs to collect, or rather, the party needs to collect a mass amount of souls that then need to leave the pain all at once, AKA someone needs to die. Um, a lot of people need to die. We have a workaround though. Um, and that will, that will harm the pain, the very realm of uh, reality that we sit on. And linearity law will break enough so that a lot of things all kind of happen at the same time. All these things come together so that it's the same moment, if you will, of when the storm father closed this gate. Thranagar's idea is that this will be able to reopen the gate, crippling the chain circle. <laughs> it's all very convoluted, but we'll get more into that as we go. The party stands on a skyship with Lord Braylor and uh, Thranduin. They have taken, uh, sorry. I have too many names all at once to, to, to move out. Goodness. Um, Lord Marin of the chain circle has been taken into custody and is below deck. The ship is currently mo moving towards the swamplands. Let's go to the cast. Ben Brainerd. Hi, my day. name is Ben Brennan. You can find me on the internet. I'm currently sitting at a hotel in Kansas City, Missouri, looking at a Hobby Lobby, an Academy Sports, and a Walmart. Ooh, is that a Cracker Barrel? I might know where I'm going to dinner tonight. 
I, uh, if you don't know, I was a comedian. Right now in this campaign, I'm playing Phyla Maps, the Order of Scribes Wizard. And I found my dad. I found my dad, finally. That's all I wanted <laughs> to do. Uh, and now I have to do stuff that I don't want to do, or else everyone dies. So, why is that my responsibility? Who knows? But here we are. So, but up, but up, but. Shane. Hi, everyone. I'm Shane Wally, and I need a shower. I just. I want to say that out loud, so I make sure I do it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can find me all over uh, social media, so Shane Wally, or on Twitch, especially as Shane Wall E. Um, I play Lorowen, the Warforged Dragon Rider Outrider. Forgot who I was for a second, and uh, and he's having a great old time. You know, he's. No, not really. He's not. And so he's uh, he's just listening to everything that's going on, as he always does. He has a lot of woe in his mind because he's feeling torn affinities. Um, even though he's free, he still has a connection made to them that he did internally of stuff. Finding his freedom is what he wanted so much. Lauren has been cat been a captive in his own mind for so many years. And to have the freedom given to him now is, you know, like the, your very first Christmas morning you can remember. Is every everything's a gift. Everything's just a possibility. And so, uh, but he still has a lot of weight on his conscience for what he needs to do. And a lot of internal things he needs to fight, but he's gonna make his way through with people that he is comfortably calling his friends. And so uh, we'll move over to uh, Jake. Hello, I'm Grateful Jake. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram. I play uh, Narian, the fallen ASMR cleric, currently controlled by uh, Asenesa, an evil, uh, gross ancestor of some sort. Um, <laughs> and he wants to do a lot of bad, terrible things. So let's see if he gets to those tonight. Jeff. Much. Way to do. The party is level 18. They are some of the most powerful people on the map, but they're not the only ones. They're currently allied with two ridiculously powerful uh, members of A, the gentry, and B, the churches. The party sits in their room conversing with each other over their options and moving forward when there's a knock at the door. A Freaquin, a being made of light, steps in and goes, Hey, we'll be arriving at your swamp in about 20 minutes. Thank you for letting us know. He steps out. All right. Lauren turns to the other two. Um, I think now is the best time to explain something to you guys. Uh, when my memories returned, there were some things that I recalled about this swamp. Um, I know we're all still trying to find what we need from there. But something of interest also belongs there that the elves were interested in. Sorry if I get a little bit hard in my words. I'm still trying to get used to the fact that I have free will. <laughs> but, which could be a whole other conversation. Uh, but there's a ruin near the swamp. And it is believed to reach to the gates of hell. And St. Pete's, as you know, moved in, but the elves were wanting to be there first. I figured this would be something good for you guys to know going in, that it may be a lot of a grander possible issue than what we've perceived in the beginning. Well... If we go to St. Pete's, clean them all away, then we're solving one problem with St. Pete's being a terrible place, and 
we'll have access to the gates of hell. So I think we knock out two birds with one stone. I see that point, and that definitely does look like an answer for at least one of the avenues. I just, as of this moment, don't know if there's any elven fingers involved. Hmm. Just a digit balloon. You look under the bed, it's a failed experiment of Theranagars. <laughs> <laughs> but at least there's just a lot that I'm trying to process after being given access to freedom. And a lot of torn things, and I'll be honest with them, decisions and loyalties that come into my head because I'm very confused. I will find my way through it. I know I will. But even if we clean out St. Pete's, we don't know how fast that information can get over to the elves. And I know very personally that they are very good at getting information. We'll have to work I know, quickly. This gonna, I know this is gonna sound weird coming from me, but one worry at a time. If father says so. Don't. How is Thylo feeling? You saved your father. He turned out to be an elven, the, the, a sympathist for the elves, who turn out are a bit terrifying and seem to be preparing themselves for an invasion. Where does Thylo land on all of that, having grown up amongst Whistlin? I don't think Thylo has landed firmly on anything. There's so much happening that it, at this point, the only thing that he really can do to not like break his brain constantly is to try as best he can to only think about what is like the next thing they need to do right now, because. There's a lot. I, I think Thylo, like, in the grand scheme, yes, Thylo was raised by elves and is proud of being an elf, but he was also raised to just be a good person. Yeah. And is also a bit of a coward. Uh, so the only landing that Thylo has right now is not death. Try to prevent mass death and also partially he's like I don't want anybody to hate the elves more than they already do so if we can I stop understand them that. from doing that yeah yeah and even your dad is taking steps to, to make sure that the elves do not invade yeah also I don't want a sinister to do anything was that in character? <laughs> None of that was in character. That, that, that was... Was... <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> I Tyler was having a constant panic attack. <laughs> so then you didn't say anything about protecting the elves out loud? Or is this all? No, all of that was. Okay. Yeah. Silo is just kind of like sitting and staring at stuff. Understood. So it really feels like a conversation between Loro and, and Anarian. With th sometimes <laughs> Silo is like, ha, ha, I'm shell shocked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just That's staring fine. at one of those balloons. It's fine. <laughs> um, I don't know what the gates of hell are. That's something that I was not given information on, and I'll be open about that. I just know it was important and very very much more important than that important. Can someone elaborate what this is for me? Or is it too long right now? Because I know we only have 20 minutes to go. 
Oh, uh, Lauren goes to the door to open it. Oh, is that what that noise was? Thank you, yes. Uh, Thranagar has a bunch of scrolls, and he goes, what boot size are you? As he shuffles in. <laughs> he looks down, 15. 15, okay. <laughs> We're almost there. We'll be getting to the swamps, and then we can get to go about collecting the souls. Yes, Anarian, as we said, the shadows that you are uh, gathering amongst yourself. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Mm. Hello, are you all right? Yeah! Hmm. It kind of goes over and kind of pulls you to your feet. I know it's so overwhelming. I know. But trust me, I've been chewing on all of this for a long time. We are going to save everyone and not start a war. I, I hope not. Well, have you ever been to the swamp? No. No, uh, I've never been to the swamp. That was one of the ruins I hoped that, to get to, but I never managed to get that far north. I didn't have cool sky ships. You had other yeah. cool. Well, thank you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, you just gotta get through the present, right? And things will fall as they will. Sometimes maybe not as planned. Hmm? that's the way things are and to sit and to be paralyzed it's not good for the joints mm -mm. what size shoe are you uh, uh 12 and a half mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. an iron american <laughs> hmm? what size shoe uh, 12 ah okay Weird, we have different sized feet, Thilo. Anyway. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I don't know why that broke me. <laughs> Do I have dog with me? Uh, yes. Oh, uh, he'd be out on deck. Okay. Ugh. Okay, we go. I go with you. The, par the party, the party steps out onto the deck, uh, as a dreary morning seems to be uh, cresting. Uh, you hear the <laughs> flap of Sonari's wings, but you don't see her. Uh, Lore, when you know that she's below, uh, mm -hmm. uh, under the sky ship. Thranduin is pacing back and forth, looking over the swamplands below that you can see. Looking from this high up, you can see the fetid swamplands just kind of turn to that grayish green and shadow for all the way up until the coastline. Um, to the easternmost of... Uh, to the easternmost of the of the swamp, you can see a colossal fortification. It's just a big ass cube of a building. There is no ornamentation. There is no frippery to be seen. It is just this cold, big ass stone block known as St. Pete's. And you can see many a chimney smoke coming out of it. Off to the west, the swamp eventually, along the coastline, shifts into this mire. Less trees, more open fields that just kind of have these soggy wetlands and a vast swath of pink. Whatever is out there, there's just a billion pink flowers. But your attention now is on the swamp as a whole. And Sonari lights up in your mind uh, 
Lorwyn. There is fighting below. Can you tell who they are? The entire swamp is full of it. Combat. There are some dragons. Hmm. Any identifiable features can you see? Not from here. Hmm. If we... If I descend, we will be noticed, and we are high up as yet to not be. Okay. Um, I'll let the others know. Uh, Lauren walks over to the, everyone and just re relays what Scenarius noticed about the fighting. I don't want her to go low, otherwise we could be spotted in this process, but if there's other dragons, this is something intense. So... We... need to get down there... Our, in person ourselves and not... Okay. No, that's... Yeah. No, yeah. Sure. No, because if we bring the boat down, then they're gonna see the ship. Remember so the three rules should... of the swamp. Wet, smelly, and sicky. At no night. running at night, no shedding of blood, and I can't remember the third one. Good memory, Anarian. Uh, no, no lighting a fire. All at night, which it still is uh, for the next hour or so. But we will use that darkness to put you down there. So, Anarian, you can get to work. That applies to everyone or just those with the shades? I thought that was just... Oh, no, there are many shades down there. Those are the ones uh, you need to collect. I will drop you down where I believe the ruin is. Mm. Hey, um. Okay, yeah, no, yeah. Well, okay, uh. What if. What if that it's like not? What if that's not where the ruin is, and then it's nighttime in a swamp, and none of us have been in a swamp, and no. then we're supposed to just like don't light a fire. Want? I'm coming with you. Okay. Oh, Thyla, we have magic. We'll be fine. You say that as uh, Thranduin steps up behind you. I also shall accompany you in this time. Mm. Oh. Have you ever been in a swamp? Yes. But it wasn't this one. Senesa. Uh, okay. Notes the additional potential complication. And I would like to see this cleric of Amora do his work. Um, what, inter what interest is it of a one of the Stormfathers to know the, the workings of another's god? Surely not mere curiosity. No. I wish to know who down here is fighting over these ruins that are so important. I imagine I will find some members of despair. And I will have a few questions for them as to who they are fighting. If there are dragons, it could be the Chained Circle. And I will be more than happy to get a bit of a workout. And with that, he hops over the side. Uh, Can I just good. do that too? I would love to jump off right now. If you would like to, yes. Uh, he can fly. <laughs> I can fly too. <laughs> uh, yeah. so how, how far down? Like how far up are we? You guys are specks in the sky. It's also nighttime. Also, yeah. I have Nari, and so you can fly I also, too. I also jump off the side. <laughs> okay, in mid-flight, can Sonari and I just like synchronize and just sure. and just go? Yeah. Show off yourself. I have advantage. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> and that leaves Silo. 
Um, I didn't think so I was going to wait a moment <laughs> and cast Telepathic Bond. Um, links up to eight. So it's uh, Anarian, Thylo, uh, Lorwyn, Thranagar, uh, Lord Branduin, Raylor, Sonari, Dog. Dog. <laughs> Um, and so the first thing that you guys hear is, thanks. No, yeah, we'll get down. I can come back. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can come back. I, I no. thought you had Featherfall. That was a magic coin that I had uh, and forgot about. I, I can come back. Whoops. It's fine. <laughs> Stop. It, I can come back. Um, can I? Oh my goodness, my apologies. I have to turn that off. <laughs> what What if you jumped down and then teleported the last bit with with bookmark? Thank you so much, Valerie. How you said we're up we're up really high, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. How far does this grappling hook arm extend? <laughs> you want to find out? Like ten feet, I'm still just dangling off the side. <laughs> uh, it is a bit of magical artificing, and uh, you <laughs> grab onto the side of one ledge, and you actually begin descending. Uh, <laughs> my my dad just hanging on to me like a backpack. <laughs> well, dog is. <laughs> Tyrannagar is going to clip onto the rope itself and with, a, with an additional mechanism <laughs> as the wind takes you. <laughs> After a few moments, uh, let's get that stealth check, Shane. 19. Okay. After a few moments, you guys find yourselves touched down. Okay. Sonari is low. All around you are these shifting mists and weltered, strange, twisted trees, and your feet sinks about a foot into the into the soft soil. And there's a a warm squelch. Hate that. I hate that a what lot. What does it feel like? It is warm swamp. and squelchy. It is. It is. It is mud, <laughs> and it is. Uh, mossy I don't know what it feels like but it sounds unfortunate <laughs> and all around yes. you distantly you can see bits of sparks here and there or the tongue of flame or lightning uh, of dragon breath off in the distance and you hear combat all around and people generally breaking the rules and you see them, um, you see the shades, these green, black, silhouette types with red, angry eyes flitting here and there. They don't seem to be able to perceive you as the party feels kind of small, hunkered down under the, uh, under this large, gnarled tree. I... Before I came down, I would have cast uh, one mage armor, sure. <laughs> because duh, uh, and also true seeing, which is non concentration lasts an hour. Um, and I'm going to summon my spellbook ghost, and uh, it's no longer, it's no longer, no longer looks like my dad. What's it look like? So I think most of the time it's just kind of like a spectral ball, like there's no real form, but then every so often it will flip into and out of like the form of uh, someone that I've met in my life that I would deem as like wise or intelligent. So like my dad uh, doing, um, Whoever that one professor was at the college that was like friends with doing 
back in mm-hmm. Cairn. Um, Matisse. Okay. Interesting. Okay. J- just for a brief moment, it would just like flit in between. Well. And uh, yeah, just eyes in every direction. Thranagar is wearing a beekeeping outfit. <laughs> A question uh, was, um, did we get a long rest between uh, last session and this session but yes. like during the travel um, <clears throat> knowing that we were becoming to do this um, Anarian would have prepared a hero's feast before we set out it's safe to say makes good sense mark it off must be nice it's your choice to not eat it <laughs> what's my bonus <laughs> I'm sure there's some good oil in there. <laughs> uh, some WD-40. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like cereal that's just cogs and oil, you know? <laughs> mm, nuts cogs, and O's. Yeah, nuts and bolts. <laughs> nuts and bolts. <laughs> Cogios. Cogios. WD-40 is fish oil? Really? Hmm. I eat WD-40? Okay. Huh. You hear that? Drink WD-40. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> I'm also just going to be casting pressed, or not pressed edition, uh, mold earth. Okay. Well, if everyone's preparing With something. every step. Okay. If everyone's preparing something, I'm going to prepare my audacity. <laughs> I don't know how to prepare. That's a max roll of uh, 20 HP. Nice. Mm. So that um, increases your max HP. Okay. Thranduin looks to uh, one of the uh, breath of lightning coiling off in the distance, and he slowly rises up, and he goes, Call if you need me. And he flies weaving through the trees and is quickly gone. Are those starting to win? Yeah. The two nice. the two shades that inhabit your shadow, Anarian, kind of grab onto your shoulders and pull themselves up to loom over either side of your of your head and begin whispering, Ah, oh, we are home. Yes. Yes, yeah, so well it's about time you start make yourself useful. Indeed. You watch as one shadow two-dimensionally along the floor goes up and reaches up and grabs a hold of one of these other uh, ghostly shades. And as its claws tear into it, they seem to recoil and, and, and look down and the first sense of lucidity that these things have had since they died in horror uh, and watch as they are twisted and consumed into another one of these shades and is added to your shadow before it too begins to snake off. It's only got so much reach so you gotta kinda wade through this swamp for a bit. You know, it says I can't run but it doesn't say anything about not flying. This is true. I'm going to just fly around and scoop up as many as I can. Must be nice. Lorwyn and Thylo. It really is, actually. <laughs> and Sonari Thranagar. Uh, watch as the horrifying visage of Anarian. Welcome in! Thank you, Jason. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good stream. Slowly begins this shadowy influence drifting off of him, slowly begins spreading. Things get quieter as the party moves. Did we actually get dropped near the uh, the ruins? Did we find the ruins? Okay. As Anarian flies about, 
Let's get an investigate. Let's get an investigation check, Thilo, as you survey the the land about you, molding earth and prying away at the loose sod and mire to look at what you can find beneath uh, at advantage, because Thranagar is with you. I also just have advantage on investigation checks anyway. Nice. Because of the hat. Oh yes. All right, so that's a 17, but that's a 33. The tree that the party stands next to is gnar- its roots have gnarled down on top of a long sunken structure. You begin excavating down and moving about amidst this structure. Over the course of about an hour, you find an entrance. Lorwyn Philo. You find a sunken city, long forgotten and quite small for what we would call a city today an open expanse that is kept to the mire at bay. And this heat vents into your faces as you gain purchase to the interior. Can I do a history check to see if I have any memories on this? By heat, do you... 18? 18, okay. You begin to see remnants of elven influence in this architecture, but it's so old that it doesn't look similar to what the elves would call you know, their, their, uh, artifice of, yeah. of today. Are they like style and architect in that sense? Thank you. Yes. Architecture. Yeah. But it's definitely Elven. And when you said we got hit with heat, do you mean just like the warmth of indoors that's been insulated or is this like, this is hot. It's hot. It's hot. Um, a little sulfuric. I don't know if this would be a different role, um, but do I get any sense of discomfort from seeing any of this architecture in the sense that, like, could this be, in my mind, as Lauren's taking this in, he would consider if it's not something he's similar to where he's from, could this be a different race of elf? You're dead on the money. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that you, me, and Thranagar would probably just know that. At least Thranagar. At the very least, you would know this isn't. As Lorwyn voices this thought, Thranagar goes, I believe it's possible they were Kalashtar. Interesting. The dream elves of old. I'm not sure though. And we don't have much time. Panarian. You begin to sense. <clears throat> That, well, Asenesa 
begins gathering more and more and more under his shadow to the point where you are where where you step is always cloaked in jet black but something's missing and anarian does not feel like you have fulfilled the trial of attraction that Amora set before you. Make a religion check. Seventeen. You are collecting not souls, but minds. Where are the souls? How did these then come to be here? And what has been done with the souls? These ghosts that remain. are only a part of the puzzle. Uh, am I still, am I separated from the rest of them? I'm still collecting. Okay. You have telepathic bond with us though. Mm. Something's wrong with these shades. As they are, they won't, they won't <laughs> suffice for opening the gates of hell. Why? They're not complete souls. It is as if their minds have been fractured. Then... So there's... Go ahead. Could their souls still be here by trap somewhere? Maybe at St. Pete's? It's possible. Um, I had that thought as well. Is it... That... That's what... <clears throat> the two original shades that we met said that they... They were forced into this... By people at... St. Pete's. What if they're trying to separate the mind from the soul so it's not together and they're trying to do something with that individual as well. What that would accomplish, I don't know, but it's... I wouldn't put it past them for something so... horrible. It sounds like they needed the souls for something and they found out along the way that separating the soul from the rest of the spirit creates a second entity that they could use for their own control so they could use the shade for themselves person to gain personal power they could use the souls that they just separated for a much different type of power then perhaps um seems we can't afford to not go into St. Pete's at this point. Clearing it out might be our only option. Shit. But this place... Uh, uh, I agree. Should we explore this place first, though, so we understand what it is and what we may need, rather than coming back without a full idea? Oh, uh, by all means, continue exploring. I will continue... There are still more shades to be gathered. Okay. Lorwyn, Thylo. <laughs> you begin delving into this city and finding beautiful architecture that has long since crumbled. And eventually you find your way to the center 
of this city. You're in a vast, empty room. Circular in nature. Maybe 200 feet high to the ceiling. Just this huge, empty, empty room. And a single seam along the floor. And it looks as if this entire room has a single thumbprint along the floor. Engraved into the stone of the floor. It. I don't know if I have to do a nature check for this, uh, but is there a way to tell if this was hu like human made, man made, or was it done through. Uh, um, that... Investigation? Yeah, it's all, I'd say that's an investigation. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna... Okay, I'll try and roll. I don't have anything with... Woohoo, 16! <laughs> okay. Um, likely, this was man-made. Anarian Distantly You witness Mage breakers Fighting Clerics and paladins Of the church of despair They seem locked in an absolutely horrible combat all throughout the swamp. Disorganized. They've probably been at it for a long time. And they are all suffering. And now that the sun has finally come up, they are, they are redoubling their efforts wholesale. And they don't uh, even seem to notice the shades slowly becoming less in number. Um, do they seem to be outnumbered by the mage breakers? No. And uh, the mage breakers are all under the chain circle's thumb, or mm -hmm. okay. Um. <clears throat> How far away is this? We were just like you see, just just see this all it. throughout the swamp as you as you are making your journeys. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to activate my um, my bubble. Okay. For a mile wide radius. Jesus Christ! <laughs> the light bends and becomes dusk within we'll say the center of the swamp um every paladin and cleric of despair will receive the benefits of let's hear it what's the what's the what's the well, full I mean, benefits um so half cover, so they get a plus two to AC, and then when they end their turn, they either get temp HP or lose frightened or charmed. Okay. Maybe you get to turn that tide. And yeah, that's where we're gonna go to break. And that is why uh, WD-40 is not fish oil. <laughs> Wow, I just learned so much. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink WD-40 chat, okay? All right, moving forward. <laughs> you know, if you drill into the bottom of an iPhone, you'll get an audio check back? You'll get an audio check? If you drill audio into the bottom jack. of the iPhone, you'll get an audio check back. Place to plug in your 
uh, headphones. What? Because I took them away. No yeah, way. If you jump to the bottom yeah. left, you'll get an audio jack back. That, I don't believe it. <laughs> There's no way. You'll have a hole that you can stick a, a 35 millimeter <laughs> jack into. Mm. And it'll be like a headphone jack. <laughs> Didn't say it's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> so. Your witness scenario to the mage breakers beginning to be beat back hand and foot within a mile radius of you. You see a couple of dragons taking off, moving off into the distance. Soon, a paladin of despair moves into this area. You see he is flying off in one distance and he's approaching you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll just continue collecting. Okay. He gets about hundred feet is, away. Is he he's on a dragon? No, he's flying. Or is he flying? Okay. Yeah. He looks at everything you are doing. Who goes there? And why did you help us? Uh, he kind of like turns to face him. Brother, you mean to tell me you don't recognize your own? This cloak of shadows is just spewing across the swamp. It was my duty to aid you. Then you have our thanks. We have been pushing these people away, looking for the ruin. Wherever we could find it, do you know, my lord, where we can find this ancient ruin? You mean down. you set up here and you don't already know where it is? No, my lord. <sighs> I like to imagine Narayan actually just had like a soda cup. He's like, oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> a shadow just gives it to him. Just <laughs> <laughs> I just have shadow. I have shadow cup holders that are just. <laughs> I'm actually sitting in a shadow. I'm just one <laughs> spanning him. <laughs> My shadow throne. Uh, real quick, they is Saint Pete's built on it. That's what we established. No, Saint Pete's is not built on it. It's on the. It's on the edge to the east of the swamp. So we're okay. in the ruins right You're now. You're in the ruins. That they're okay. looking for. And and that uh, the Mage Breakers were either looking for or had secured. Well. I personally don't know where it is. But if we go back to St. Pete's to regroup, I will gladly help you search. As you command, sir. You can see other clerics on foot mucking through the through the swamp. They look like they've been in combat for days, many exhausted folk looking up at you with a wild look in their eyes of victory and hope misplaced. I'm 
to send over the mental link. The followers of despair are searching for the ruins. They've not found it yet. Found this giant room. I'm not really sure what to do with it at the moment, but we'll try and figure it out before they get any closer. I'm bringing wow. them back to St. Pete's to regroup, as it were. So that should buy you some time. Okay. See if you can find out. See if you can find out what they've done with the souls. If I can collect the souls and slip out, I'll meet you. If not, St. Pete's floors will run red. You are going alone? Oh, I am not alone. And he looks at the coast. That guy's starting to creep me the fuck out. Hey, well, <laughs> no, no. <All> right. <laughs> well, be safe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep you posted how it's going, coming along. Okay. Spare some details. If you insist. I want to hear everything. If you insist. (laughs) (laughs) Wraith and helmed and shadow, you begin shepherding these survivors of the Church of Despair back towards St. Pete. A bit of time passes. Thilo and Lorwyn. Thranagar is pacing and goes, We'll need to be here when everything's ready. Eshna's in place. Levy is training. What happens here? Exactly, do you know? We are standing in this. Uh, uh, we are standing in the room of the sealed gate, I believe. So, what's below us? Likely more stone oh. and earth. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. This is essentially a is portal there... room, you see. Okay, because for a second there, it made me think that this little hairline that's going through here is going to open up or I'm going to fall in. I'm and sure I it'll open up and it. look super fucking crazy. I want to see that. And I want to bring down the chained circle. Hmm. There's a noise of thin shale cracking. Like below us? Mm, behind you. Does my passive perception give me any advance onto knowing what's going on? Your passive perception picked this up. Okay. And as you look, you see nothing. Darkness, open expanse, various grayed out buildings along the sides of an open area. Do I see anything with true seeing? No. You also don't have it anymore. Don't have what anymore? Because us getting down in there took over an hour. I have dark vision for, I think it's 120 feet. There's nothing I can see at all. Correct. Okay. Sonari Um, shapes into dragon form and slides forward to go investigate and disappears into the darkness. What we need to figure out, Thilo, is how to go about merging. We're figuring out if we need to merge the shadows and the souls together, or if uh, this, this additional complication is something I didn't foresee. We don't have, we don't have an Aryan's brother. 
And so we are uh, shooting in the dark a little bit here. I... <laughs> I think we do need the souls here because the souls themselves are what causes the celestial power to shift. And so if we are attempting to recreate things the way that they were when this first happened, then we need the souls because the souls were, were there on that day too. The souls will break the pain a little and we will be able to bend the laws of linearity. Let us do this. Let us do this. And he starts uh, going about and, and forming various sigils and, and preparing ver uh, some strange large-scale spell that would take multiple people to cast. Lower one. Hmm. Could we have some dragon blood? He connects with Sonari, um, first checking to see if she sees anything and she's okay. She's prowling about. She's not finding anything. I'm being requested if you would mind sharing some of your blood for a spell by my father. Would you be okay with that? Not too much. But if it is what is needed. Okay. Again, only if you feel okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, yes, Sonari will happily give you some of her blood. Only a bit. Oh. Philo, you and Thranagar basically go on this multi-hour process of rigging up this spell uh, with the intent of once Anarian releases these souls to keep the pain from breaking too much. And it is eons beyond what you understand. And you are learning on the go. And there is a whole multi-lifetime amount of study that is going that, that Thranagar has put into this. But he needs your help to do it. So, let's get Arcana checks. This will be your role. When the time comes is you and Thranagar casting this spell. This one right here? No, this that is constructing. This is constructing. Oh. Giving everything in order. Dirty 20. 19. Did that with a 4. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> yeah. I had advantage too. I rolled a 2 and a 4. Anarian. You arrive at St. Pete's. Many tired and weary soldiers trudging out of the swamp and heading inside. You alight in the front in the front yard in this open kind of dirt area. And an older gentleman, very 
sad in appearance. Kind of comes out and goes, Well, I sent a son. He bows. Hundredth, hundredth of thy name. Welcome to St. Pete's. I was not informed that you were coming. How may we be of service to you? Inquired souls. Right this way. Make an insight check. Does my passive instead of 21 pick anything up? Um. Yes, but make an active insight check as well. 25. 25. Clearly this is a man with a plan. And you were not part of that plan. And you already know that he's got something and you're here to take it from him. And that is not part of his plan. You were brought into, well, let's recap a little bit. If you were to cut purse someone or steal something or do something that would get you time in prison, you would go to a local prison but if you were deemed a threat to society and were murdering people wholesale or some other heinous act, according to the locals, you just start taken away by the church of death. You're put on a teleportation pad and you're gone and people never see you again. But in reality, you're brought here to St. Pete's. You walk into this prison and you see horrible conditions. People in stone cells, scorch marks on every wall. Prisoners bartering clothes as a currency. And a lot of these empty, shoots in the floor. People shoveling remains into the said shoots. The smallest infraction is met with a scorching, horrible death. And then you are brought to a nice office on the second floor. My lord. Another gentleman in more impressive robes. You realize you might be speaking to the monarch of despair. So would that be like the the very is here yeah. I welcome you to St. Pete's thank you I'm told you are in need of souls I Far be it for me to question a fallen angel of my God. But I do admit to a curiosity as Tenebris made no mention of you.
You've heard the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket, yes? I'm afraid I've been considering myself the basket. In this case... I was a plan that was never supposed to work. But we've been fortunate, and here I am. He communes with Tenebris. And while you don't see what his outcome was from the spell he cast, your passive insight says he is confused. The souls we have been gathering here are to be used for a purpose a long time from now. Tell me this purpose. But is the purpose in which I suspect it is. I may have a way of expediating the timeline. We are Tenebris's back up heaven. In the coming war with the gods. If someone were to interfere with despair's access to his heavenly power, he would still have us. I do not think I can out give of, you... Out of character, real quick, what does that mean? You have no fucking clue. Okay, cool. cool, cool. <laughs> What if I told you I could cover the lands with despair once again? I'm listening. What's the Tempest God's name? Tempestas. Right. <laughs> Tempestas did so long ago. You've found the ruin. Perhaps. I require the souls. Roll persuasion. That is a dirty 20. Wait, I have guidance. I can guidance, right? Is that a thing I can do? <laughs> Clerics in a debate are constantly just guidancing themselves at each other. <laughs> just like... Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> 23. He stands up. And looks to, and dispassionately with dead eyes, looks to the first individual you met. Open the furnaces. Come with me. 
You are led to the basement. Uh, can I insight to see if he's doing any dirty tricks? You may. Fifteen? He is putting a test before you. Trying to shock you and to see what you do. Okay. And my delightful mod. Would you please post a picture the picture in the Terraform Disco Discord of what Anarian finds in the basement of St. Pete's? Oh goody. My third dad. A graphic warning for the chat. <laughs> You find many oh. metal slabs that are superheated that these people are dropped onto. And you see clerics keeping them alive for a time and undergoing mm. dark rituals. Mm. Make, an make a religion check for me, Anarian. Nineteen. They are mass producing gibbering mouthers. Oh. Uh -huh. And using them as batteries for souls in such a horrific way that they are causing the minds of these poor people to break and in such righteous indignation become ghosts to wander the swamps. The shades are twisted versions of that. These are a byproduct of the mass killings that are going on here in St. Pete's. That's terrifying. And I was going to send the party here at any given time if they started, like, trying to, like, kill people in the street of any major city. I was like, you're going to St. Pete's! <laughs> <laughs> you forgot we weren't murder, murder hobos naturally. So. <laughs> Windfall, on the other hand. We would have been here. Day three. <laughs> <They have> the <laughs> moral... <laughs> yeah, probably. So you're saying that this St. Pete's has a control over gibbering mouthers here to do all this stuff. Yep. That's okay. The <laughs> definition of the gibbering mouther is said that when it eats a creature, two, the, the same two eyes of that creature float up to the surface and their voice is joined with the gibbering mouther's screams and laughs. The souls are being held within. Okay. So they're feeding them to the gibbering mouthers and it's a container. Yes. And are, is there just one big one or is there a bunch of little ones or like it's, what is? It's an entire floor of all of these little ones that have all kind of melted together into one big one. And they're all slapped on to, this, to these metal uh, rods. Bad night to um, eat pizza. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm assuming that this is a new form of thing that like in my time way way back Asanasa would have never seen this before yes Correct. this puts to shame half the things that were seen in hell despair is tenebris right hmm. tenebris yes And Anarian. I, Tenebris himself, he brought hell to earth. We do what we are told. And we this do is ingenious. The, uh, How long has this been going on for? About since the fall of the tyrant king Bost, so about a hundred years. Well, that should do to wreak havoc on the pain. Uh, 
the first cleric that met you at the door kind of slowly, quietly looks at you whilst the head, the monarch, seems nervous all of a sudden. This wasn't the reaction he was planning for you to have. He thought he was the biggest, scariest thing in the room, and he's realizing that might not be true. Um, I would like to hold an action for an attack against me. Okay. As we talk oh so civilly. As you talk oh so civilly, another screaming form joins the metal slabs. You ever just sit down here and enjoy the music? Roll intimidation. Thirty twenty. Many of the clerics in the room pause in their chanting. Well, if you are, the clever left hand of Tenebris, as you say, then who am I to deny you? He gestures a hand to the atrocity before you. Oh, indeed. And I'll... How do I collect souls? <laughs> <laughs> like a Kit Kat. Break up a party and eat it. <laughs> and like, do I have to, like, kill... Do I have to fight it and, like, kill it, or...? That's up to you. How do you want to go about this? Uh, I can guide you if you would like. I'm kind of letting you have... Uh, creative flourish over this moment uh, whether it be I just I don't want to creatively uh derp it into like like and they're gone like oh well, no, sorry, I'm not guys, gonna, I'm just... not gonna screw you over by giving you <laughs> autonomy and then I'm not gonna monkey paw you <laughs> um how many did you say there are lot of the like the gibbering the gibbering mouthers uh there's probably 80 or so all kind of sloughed together overlapping uh i'm going to stretch out my hand go reclaim what is yours and the shadows are going to rise and they're all going to just stream forward inside into the uh, gibbering mouthers, and they're gonna like reclaim their souls Clerics and pull them all back. Stepping back, and you, shoe to foot, if you will, begin filling these shades, the empty vessels that they were. Now begin harboring their original souls. You have truly made an abomination this day. Hey. The gibbering slowly begins waning away. We'll have to send for more. And yes. even even the monarch now is stepping a bit back as if you might detonate. And you can hear them. You can hear all of them.
Lorwyn, Thylo. <laughs> Hi. What are you doing in this moment? Um, Lorwyn is still on guard because of the breaking of the shale that was around him uh, that he heard. So he is trying to see every possibility of something being there, um, but just ready to just make sure they all know what goes on the second that something happens. But also just like very weary about the blood. Part. Sure. Yeah. Uh, as painless as possible, Thranagar uh, manages manages to cut a small uh, uh, vein and draw some blood. Hmm. Sonari just kind of watches him like ah, I could eat you, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, and he was like, yes, I need the blood, and he goes, oh, okay, shit, oh, okay, uh, okay. <laughs> all right, let's just be like super careful. <laughs> <laughs> um, before he begins. Uh, he he put, grabs some some grass and begins uh, marking symbols along the floor, and you see elvish script within the within this spell that is likely where he learned this ability. Am I able to watch that to to read what he's saying as he's writing the script? It's uh it's in arcane and it's in okay. arcane magic, so it, it would make sense okay. to a wizard, but it's okay. It's, Okay. Thylo. It was briefly dusk, and then it wasn't, and it's been quiet for some time. Make a wisdom save, as a creeping paranoia suddenly tries to take a hold of you. I don't like I don't like that. I don't like that you did that to me randomly. I don't like that. Come on. Seventeen? You succeed. Great. Something attacked you. That was not run of the mill like paranoia you. from you. That was from an exterior entity. That you can't sense. Hmm. Lorwyn, make a wisdom save. Lord. Fifteen. Fail. Oh God, no. A terror settles upon you. He's immune to frightened. He's immune to frightened. You're immune Heroes to frightened. Feast, baby. Heroes feast, baby. <laughs> but the full <laughs> tummy. <laughs> Ooh, rusted flakes. <laughs> I believe he also had an advantage on his wisdom saving throw. Anyway. Oh yeah, yeah, you do. Oh, okay. I well, didn't you're know immune, that. so what's it? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't even let's, matter. Let's say this. Uh, go ahead and roll it again. Hey, it was less than sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> Less than 16. Okay, so you still fail. Yeah. And while you manage to shrug off the terror, because you can't be terrified, <laughs> there's something that's not Sonari. And it's... It's not watching you physically. It's perceiving your mind it's very cthulhu -y. <laughs> it's very uh. great old one energy i love this so much okay um i'm going to uh relay through my head still the, the telepathic people it's just like do I know that I was attacked? Like, can I get that sense? Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Just... Both of you. Okay. okay. Well, and uh, even so, Arn, 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 what he believes is an Arn is hearing this. Uh, something is trying to attack at me here. And then he looks to uh, Thilo and be like, are you okay? I'm fine. I felt it too. We... I, it's... Dad? 
You look for dad, and he is disappearing into a rope trick. That is so on brand. <laughs> <laughs> he is noob. <laughs> Let the capable people do the capable things, and I will try not to die. Uh... I so I can't see this thing. I have no sense of this thing. Something is getting into my mind, and a sense something of... is perceiving your mind. It's not Perce in your mind. So it's per so it recognizes my mind from an external source. It's not in it yet, or like in it, but like it's it's not. Yeah, in you it. don't have like a mind in your mind, and you don't, you're not conversing with anything. But you do feel like uh, a goldfish, and something has gone up to the side of the tank, and it's just looking at you. I would like to cast um, Dispel Magic mm, okay. on the the terror, the paranoia Okay. that my father is feeling. Your father? You can't dispel him. He's gone. He's up in that rope trick pocket dimension. You can't target him. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said he was on his way up. No, you're just seeing the rope disappear. You're like, Dad? <laughs> okay. Dad, let me up. Don't leave me out here like this. Uh huh. Roll initiative. Both us? <sighs> the Both Yes. The right. the portal opens up. And you see him like Come on. Sorry, not roll initiative just yet. My apologies. Okay, because I wanted to okay. do something. <laughs> All right, yeah, I was so his head pokes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he lets down the rope. Yeah, I'm casting Dispel Magic on him now. Okay, he... Okay. <laughs> he simply reacted of his own accord and bolted. <laughs> so that technically fizzles as Lorwyn was the one affected by that, not your father. Okay, hold on. So you didn't even... You didn't even get mentally attacked. You just felt like getting inside of a, a rope trick you right now was the attacked. best course. I, we, we're fine. I don't trust it. I'm gonna roll something. <laughs> can, can I... Okay. I, don't, I don't know if there's a way to do this, but... This probably isn't. Is there a way for me to know that someone is trying to do something to me from a non-physical plane? That is something you can suspect. Okay. 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 Um, okay. Uh, okay. Sorry, just grabbing my words. Um, so Lauren's going to take a bold step kind of forward. Uh more into the darkness area. I believe Sonari is still her dragon form. Where Sonari the... is returning to you at this point. Okay. Uh... And... She places a hand just on Sonari's side, just like he has a little bit of doubt in what he's about to do, because uh, normally he likes keeping his mouth shut, but he's going to openly, with a not too loud, but just a generic stronger tone be like what are you what are you what is this in hopes that he gets a response whether it happens or not he's just he he believes in his core that something's there from the sound and from being attacked now that this that that's there but he's like he hopes to hear a return it's almost as if you don't hear the response but you hear the echo of the response yeah. 
You hear that as well, Fat. Is that deep speech? Yes. Okay, I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you? Do you have open? Do you have open translation through the mental link right now? Sure. I know deep speech. Oh yeah, speak for me. <laughs> <laughs> I was on. I had it open because I was talking to you guys, and I want in that part. That is what my intention was with the talk, telling you guys when I'm being attacked. Yes. In deep speech. Sorry, Jeff. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, actually, it was primordial. <laughs> like, oh, I misspoke. Uh, it's actually celestial, just with a cold. <laughs> deep oh, it's celestial. Okay, I'm celestial too. It's okay, I know that too. <laughs> Why do you think you can disturb my sleep? Does Anarian relay that back to me? Yeah. Okay. Um, Just pocket Anarian. <laughs> <laughs> like a little well. cell phone. <laughs> you, just, yeah, you put it on speaker and hold um, it up. <laughs> With respect, I did not feel I could disturb your sleep on the grounds I knew that no one was here. Then go. He says, then go. This is the wine that I'm currently drinking with um, <laughs> the monarch. The wine yeah. with the souls. <laughs> Who has not um, drank any yet. <laughs> no. <I'm> just, <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure I can right now. Milo's halfway up the rope, just going ask me. <laughs> who, who, who are? If you don't mind me asking this, he is getting in the sense that this is an all-powerful being of some sort, and he knows he has to be somehow diplomatic in this situation with respect. Um, Forgive yeah, me for Thilo picked up pretty heavy on the all powerful being part. <laughs> for, forgive me for not knowing. I am not vast in my knowledge, but may I ask of who or what you are or both? I am that which is closed to you. I am that which has been bound into shape and form and shut. How am I to know what is close to me? You tread upon my very flesh. You are the city. No. You said you, I know. You said you know me. Pulling up the rope. Pulling up the rope. <laughs> you are in. <laughs> okay. It is just uh, you, Lorwyn. You and Sonari. Okay. Um, Telepathically, you can still hear me, though. Yeah, you're okay. great. <laughs> the, 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 la the, the last words you said there. You know me. Yes. But don't take it too I, literally. Thank you. You know me because you are standing on me. <laughs> I. <laughs> he Brandigar is balloons. just throwing balloons. That, that was Brandigar as soon as you made it up. He's like, you made it. Yeah. Woo. Mm -hmm. I, so I'm alone. I, I think, I think maybe he's implying that he's not necessarily the city as a whole, but this, this thumbprint, this door, the seal is what has shaped him and locked him in. And he thinks that we're awakening his slumber and in fact you should you should tell him we're here to like we're here to free him i can do that lauren um calmly at this point forcing a calm on himself yeah scenario um, also forcing a calm yeah um, <laughs> dragons are not usually outsized <laughs> <laughs> or underground I 
if I'm understanding this correctly, I know what loss of freedom is. And I do not wish to disrespect anything of yours. But if I am to place together what is left with me here, we're actually trying to open this. You will not do this. You will leave me in my suffering. What do does suffering get? Do not drag you? me into the present to suffer moment by moment. Let me sleep. You were talking to the gate. Not so much. You, you were. Something long ago was reshapen into the portal, the closed portal of which you are standing on the physical manifestation of. And it doesn't like being reminded that it is so bound. And it will not open for you, clearly. No. It was closed by the Stormfather, who is dead. So... Now I'm wondering what would have happened if Ben cast a dispel magic on the door. <laughs> <laughs> um, dispel magic is not a fix all. <laughs> you didn't at least try. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, um, there's also things like remove curse, which might be more along the lines of what this actually is. And I don't, I don't have that. He does so. So just to correct my memory, so he does not like to be reminded that he is something. Yes, he that would rather sleep open. in suffering. Sleep in suffering. Then be reminded Instead, what that if, he what is if, suffering. What if? What if we had a way to remove your suffering entirely? That is not possible, mortal. Anything is possible. Not by you. By something not being done by me does not mean there's not an accessible way of getting to a result. What is the difference between what one chooses to believe in and one and what one is compelled to believe? Hope. There is no hope here. I'm standing here. And you shouldn't be. If I shouldn't be, but I'm hopeful, does that not mean hope could possibly get to a place where it, you're saying it shouldn't exist? It means you are a speck who knows nothing of the true shape of the world, merely not even perceiving the cause here about you. Then tell me, or let me find out how to understand. A waste of time you are. I think about my, that myself, about myself quite often. But I've seen a different light that comes to understanding freedom, which is very possible. <laughs> what do you call freedom? It's not freedom. Nope. It is merely the ability to have choice. Freedom is to be whatever you wish to be, however you see fit. Mortal, little metal being, leave me. Um, he goes into his head or to talk to the guys in the head. He's like, do we leave him or do we keep so trying to get the spell going? On that last leave me, things yeah. crackle a little bit. Stone chips here and there. Okay. This is me, but I feel like uh, the we is truly the important part of that sentence. This is fascinating. I should be taking uh, notes. <laughs> perhaps it might be best to leave for the time being so he doesn't shake the place into rubble. And we can return when we're ready. Okay. I just feel feels wrong to leave this, I'm going to say a being in well, suffering. We'll be there to free him soon enough. 
we're gonna come back. But if we don't leave him now, we might not ever be able to come back. So. Okay. Um, Lauren, I've acquired the souls, so we're okay. we're good on that front. Lauren will turn his attention back to the the gate and be like, "I hear you, and I'll go. We will go." But I will always introduce myself to something. My name is Lorwyn, and I do plan to return. And I will find a way to set you free, whether it kills me or not. And that's my hope. And he starts to walk away. So convicted. You should see what I can do when I'm truly putting my mind to it. And then continues to walk. It does not respond further. <laughs> it seems to be sulking. I don't, I don't think hurt. it can actually do anything to us aside from try to scare us away. Well, it sounded like... Are you... Go ahead. Are you basing this off of the uh, the research that you've just conducted merely on uh, the fact that <clears throat> it only tried to scare us and hasn't done anything else yet? Because that research feels incomplete. I feel like it would have done it. I don't know it about should. that. Maybe it causes great stress. Maybe, okay, maybe it was just internally slumbering into the middle of waking up. We don't know. The hypothesis is incomplete. This is nowhere near time to write the conclusion. Tylo, you're so right. I'm so proud of you. That was a logical fallacy. <laughs> proud. Thank you. You don't want to test the theory any further, though. It wouldn't be wise, would it? No. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> the party reconvenes. Heads back up to the surface. Okay, so at this point, I feel like... Uh, we just have to wait until Anarian gets here with an army of despair. That sounds about right. Anarian, you feel strange. Strange how? You ate something weird, guy. I mean, I had a lot of things, yeah. As you, we haven't, we haven't moved past the moment of you having just collected these souls. And. No, oh, we're not in the office drinking wine? No, you're on your way. Uh, when something comes over you. And. The second line of golden script forms. And where it says despair marked over attraction, it begins, the words despair begins to burn away. And many of the clerics looking at you kind of step back as if you're a ticking time bomb. <laughs> Except the monarch who reads it and his brows furrow. And a Senesa doesn't notice it. With my insight of 21? No, a Senesa is blocked from noticing it. Oh, oh I, th I thought it meant didn't As, notice the change in the no, monarch's no, face. No, no, the, the monarch, yeah, no. A Senesa would note that, but Anarian knows that you have just completed the second of the three trials. The monarch realizes his mistake. You know, I was just thinking. 
you all dish out a lot of despair, but you don't do a lot of experiencing it. How do you properly worship Tenebris when you're sitting in here at the top, sitting in luxury? When was the last time you suffered? Uh, I have uh, been a devout follower all, all my life. I have been a devout follower countless lifetimes. You are nothing. Uh, guards! Guards! What these spirits do? <laughs> Are you unleashing them? Can I? <laughs> <laughs> also, what does that mean? Is like, just like. Are you weapon? Are you attacking? <laughs> you let just a little bit off the top and you I really want to have the conversation over one but it's alright <laughs> and you sense the release of these abominations that you carry within you ripping themselves out of your shadow and casting themselves to every sentient thing near you and you bask as you feel hundreds and hundreds of people around you torn asunder, brought low. The ground rumbles slightly under your feet. And the monarch, seeing this, being attacked, looks at you and tries to bind you. Um. As he casts control monster. Uh, so my held action. Mm -hmm. Uh, he casts at emptiness. As I have cast this lead and I'm not standing where I appear to be standing. What do you do? I whisper in his ear behind him. Despair and die. Um, and I'll just I'll just send the rest of the shades at him. Paint me a word picture of your unbridled destruction of St. Pete's. Um, okay. That even so, Philo and Lorwyn are able to vaguely hear and sense. <laughs> <laughs> so are, can these, are these things like going through walls and stuff or is it like- Yeah, they're like two dimensional shadows. I have to physically walk are... down the hallways as it's just ravaging everything. You do kind of have to walk. You do have to kind of move about and I kind of like slow-mo. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, yeah, like slow-mo destruction. Yeah, so it's just like- Welcome to the Black Parade. Walking down the hall, shades spewing out People are like flipping around and then just getting shredded apart. Um, the floors run red as he promised it would. Um, and he spares some detail for uh, Thilo and spares no detail for Lorwyn. Yeah. As, as was insisted upon. 
they're just <laughs> body body parts just the building itself is brought down <clears throat> and that's where we're gonna go to break hmm That is how I got the name Dave and Busters. That makes not much sense. Now do thought... Barnes and Nobles. <laughs> so there so is this we'll... horse. There's <laughs> <laughs> Dave Barnes and Buster Noble. <laughs> Stream, if you don't have a spicy burger yet, go get a spicy burger. Oh, spicy burger sounds so good. Sriracha mayo and sabzu. Oh. So good. So. Hanarian. I'm trying to think of a comparison to what it physically feels like to be you right now. Freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> You feel full. Near to bursting. Oh. And you return to the party. Without an army of the of the despair clerics in hand, but instead a ruinous column of smoke against your silhouette behind you. Looks like a pretty sight. So if there won't be bothering anyone else ever again. One can only assume what that means. Oh. You know what? Hey, just let me just think about this for a moment. And I'd like conjure a picture of <laughs> the gibbering <laughs> mouthers and like what they were doing to people in there. Like you're giving me my details. <laughs> <laughs> Thranagor goes, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> So now that's not happening anymore, so. Interesting. Never knew that such things would come from that place. So what have you all found? A deep speeching god. I think. Mm. As you know. What was that for that bit, yeah. A city underneath our feet that's more alive than we uh, thought. And they took dragon blood. They're still not sure what that was about. <laughs> if, if it makes you feel any better, I am also... I'm um, not entirely sure of what that was about, but I am mostly, I'm mostly sure. Mm -hmm. I had hurt. Shifting the flow of souls. So that we don't absolutely ruin everything. How are you feeling, Anarian? Oh, I feel great. Never better. Really? Hmm. I thought there'd be at least some discomfort. For a moment, there was a weird, like, a weird sensation, but then it passed, so. What can you tell me about it? It's hard to explain. It was... Yeah, I, I really can't describe it. It was so quick, and then it passed. Huh. Well. The door is sentient. I didn't see that coming. What else do we need to do? What else do we, Is there anything else, my friends, that we should do to prepare? Before we undertake this task on the next episode. <clears throat> what do we... Okay. Best case scenario. When what we 
we we bring Anarian down into the door, and then and then you and I will channel the spell that protects the. And Levi will terraform the, the door in, into being. And then Anarian will release the spells. Release the spirits, into, the souls. The yes. spirits, yes, the spirits, let, the souls. You have into, to let them die, Anarian, essentially. Let them pass on. They are suffering. Right. Oh, yeah. And, I, hmm, I know that. Yeah. And that, and that will open the, the gate to hell. Yes. Okay. Anarian Just... will have to speak to it with authority as well, as a as a cleric of of uh, Amora. Naturally. Sure. Now, are we planning to go to hell after it's open? Goodness, no. No, 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 no. See, it's not even that. It's not even that. It's the one that's hell. It's just the one we know of and can find and get our hands on. Once we open this door, we open all the doors. And if all the doors to the Feywild, to all the other places, once those are open, the djinn that the chain circle has monitoring and countering wish will no longer be able to monitor and counter wish because they will no longer, they will have to be suddenly accommodating for all the other wish spells that are cast throughout all the other realms in the cosmos. Rendering them a attackable vulnerable um let's just hypothetically uh-huh. we open the the gate to hell uh-huh. what's the worst that could happen because well, of that the things can't just walk through there's more to it than that it's 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 what if simply unsealing if it's unsealed does that not mean someone in hell can make a wish they probably already could there are probably already beings down there that are capable of wish yes but it's that the jinn no longer will be able to accommodate for so many more l- realms that are that have the capability of wish yes okay we are breaking a monopoly on a vile faction that has had a death that has had a grip on our world all this time we are bringing them low they have been keeping us down and so when we open the gate of hell, then we have to open the other gates. They will of all which we... break. At once, when simultaneously. One At once, yes. Okay. Good. Therefore, crippling the power of the chain circle, yeah. Um, and then who attacks? Well, we've got options there. We can approach those who we maybe could trust within the aristocracy to take the fight to their kin, which feels unlikely. Or we could talk to the elves. Are you comfortable going back to the elves, knowing everything? Yes. You would rather go there than there. Look at what they've been doing here. There are no good guys. It's just people within their own gray areas deciding that they don't like the shade of gray on the next river over. But what happens when the elves come here and start attacking the aristocracy? The perceived aristocracy. I mean, it won't look good. But if it means the death of the chain circle, I'd say I've done a good job. And you can sense a bit of a bitter note in his tone there. Uh, 
Besides, they're not going to attack wholesale, right? They're just going to go after the chain circle. Hopefully. Yes, but we know what the chain circle is and who they are. That doesn't mean everyone does. Right. To us, it looks like the elves are attacking the chain circle, but to the rest of the common folk and, and even the aristocracy who know about the chain circle, it can very easily be spun. I don't much care for what the common folk have to say about it. I care about the result of the chain circle being brought low. It's at this point, Thranduin returns. And he does not look very happy. And he's only got eyes for a Senesa. And that's where we're going to leave off for the night. Chat, thank you so much for being here. This yeah. has easily been one of the most dour and... and uh, uh, creepy episodes that terraform has had of late uh so thank you for for bearing with us make sure you take a lap and return yourself to you know get yourself out of that headspace if you need to uh go watch some memes or something like that things are not actually that dour uh yes we're at the we're at the tipping point we're we are going in we've got two episodes left and it's gonna be bonkers, and I am oh so very excited for the implications of the following season. <laughs> it's gonna be great. I'm very excited. We also have the summer series coming along very shortly. We'll have more information about that out soon. Uh, ben is running a game, Offbeat is running a game. Very excited about that. Uh, and that gives me time where I hand the DM reins over to other talented individuals where I can sit back and take a long or a mo, a mo, I, I think an earned res respite where I can of course then spend the whole summer cooking up the next season uh, across the board um goodness did anyone win bingo I would love to know I'm morbidly fascinated with this whole bingo thing and how it came to be all on its own but without it without like the players or myself actually doing anything just it, the fans made it happen and I love that <laughs> um, I'm running two games. I'm running two panels at Gen Con coming up in <laughs> August. Um, and, uh, you should, you should come by and say hi. I'd love to put faces to names. I'm very excited. One is a game. The other one is, uh, the do's and don'ts of game of a DM game master. Um, Ben will be on it. I'm very excited. Um, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and they're put on by the Crit Awards, sponsored by the Crit Awards. If you haven't yet, you should uh, go put in uh, your votes for for you know best campaign or best uh, DM, best best character moment. Or there's, there's 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 tons of different things, and there's lots of amazing creators out there that you can nominate, and uh, they might win. They might win come the Crit Awards, which is uh, at Gen Con. Um, what else? We are cranking out episodes on the YouTube. Uh, we have three episodes a day going up on the YouTube right now to get us caught up um, on all of our various campaigns. And we will also soon be releasing uh, the previous season's Fall of Hightower uh, just in time for all sorts of shenanigans uh, that Ben might be able to give us a few hints on for the coming uh, uh, adventures. Um, I am Sir Pfeffers of the Humble Dungeon Master at a long shot table, and I am also running a game on Friday. If you want to join, you can you can buy a seat at the table. Um, it is uh, I'm running a level nine one shot. That's like a puzzle one shot. It's very it's very strange. It's called the Rat King's Keep. It's a whole lot of fun, um, and uh, I'm I'm taking all comers. We've got two seats filled. There's four seats still available. And uh, I'll be running that on Friday. So head over to the start playing uh, and look up my name and you'll find me over there. Um, you can find a link in the Discord. Feel free to head on over there. You can find horrifying imagery as uh, from the various campaigns as well as a fantastic community that is chaotic as it is wholesome. Um, I got a Patreon on the way. More information about that later. But for now, let me throw it over to the Shane Wally. Hi everyone, I'm Shane Wally. I'm in all social platforms as Shane Wally, and yes, I'm going to be going for a shower after this. 
I um, uh, enjoyed tonight's episode. It was fantastic. I personally love all things Eldritch. So having that little taste in there was a really nice thing. And Beth has opened the door to me now having another character obsessed. <laughs> so, uh, so that's fantastic. Um, Lorwyn um, felt for the door because that's just the type of thing he is when he hears someone's being trapped or imprisoned into something that is uh that becomes his his closeness in that sense but he ended, he hopes that with what we're doing to the door coming into the next episode will hopefully be a good thing it's still very overwhelming for him he's trusting these people pretty much blindlessly but he still considers them friends and what they have said so far has moved him to definitely believe in their cause entirely so it's uh it's going to be a fun wind up for Lauren to see where what goes on Ben. Hi, my name is Ben Brainerd. You can find me on the internet. <laughs> Philo uh, doesn't like what's happening right now because it's the first time this whole campaign where he is unsure of what is going to happen next. Uh, Philo's greatest enemy is... Uh, <clears throat> The lack of knowing something, <laughs> and it's uh, it's attacking him right now. Uh, so anxiety. Uh, anyway, if you want to follow me? Find me on the internet. I'm on tour right now. Come see my live shows. I made puzzles. You can have puzzles. Uh, if you're if you if you want a D and D, I made a D and D source book that introduces subclass for every class of the game. Focus on using hit dice to power uh, abilities, and it's a lot of fun. You should buy it uh, half off right now, fifteen dollars on my website, benbrenner.com. There's a merch button. It's a file of high tower beta, and uh, if you want to see what the classes are like, that's probably going to be a big part of the summer series is uh, that world again. So uh, look out for that balloons. <laughs> Jake! Hi, I'm Kipo Jake. I'm on TikTok and Instagram. I play Asadasa, um, Bon Isamar, Cleric of Despair. Um, <clears throat> tonight was uh, very fun to actually <laughs> play Asenasa as Asenasa and not Asenasa pretending to be a Narian to fool the party. Um, he's not a good dude. Nope. Yeah. Um, and awesome. I finally got to like let that shout. <laughs> um, will Anarian come back? Maybe. <laughs> Let's hope. And maybe <laughs> pray. But yeah. not to Tenebris. Yeah. <laughs> or Tempestas, because he's dead. True. Uh, Shane, you got bingo? I did. Let's go. <laughs> I did. With uh, someone mentions his wish, the party splits up. Beth leaves us on a cliffhanger. The party breaks something, and an NPC with a T in their name. <laughs> <laughs> many. Many. So many. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gang. Well, we are going to be raiding uh, dummies and dice rolls. Fantastic. Uh, phenomenal group of creators. Go show them some love. Uh, and have a fantastic rest of your evening, my friends. Don't forget to go lighten the mood in your brain a little bit after all this dour stuff. Have a fantastic rest of your evening. Okay, everyone, bye-bye. Bye. Toodle noodle. Bye. Pray to you.